So this is the second part of getting started with Cubase. Now we've learned how to make the sounds and more importantly how to patch them. So you've got the signal path sorted out so the signal comes out and goes in properly. Next thing we've got to do is learn how to record. Now recording is very easy. I recommend always starting at bar 5. Now there is a reason behind this. This is if if you start at bar 1 and you want to put anything before bar 1 then you've got to move your entire arrangement. So if you start at bar 5 it gives you a bit of leeway. Now to know which number you're at you can either check down here which gives you the bar then the beat number and the subdivision of the beat number or you can look up top here which is where all the numbers are so that's bar 1 and bar 9. At the moment there's no bar 5 so we might have to zoom in a bit. Now to zoom in Cubase there's two ways of doing it. To zoom horizontally, you use this slider here and just make it a bit bigger. And you'll see as you make it a bit bigger, you go here and you can see that you can now see bar 1 and 5. It just makes it bigger. Or you can zoom in even more. We could do 1, 3 and 5. Or more again and you get every bar number. And if you're being completely pedantic you can go in even further and do beat numbers and extra stuff. I'm going to leave it on so I can see every four bars. So bar one, bar five, bar nine, just for the time being. I might make it bigger later. If I wanted to make it bigger vertically I use this and as you can see it's made the tracks bigger like that but I have no use for that at the moment so it doesn't matter. So I'll put it back like this. Now to record First thing I'm going to do is set this line. Now you see this line, this is where the time is. So this goes forwards in time. Now I need that on bar 5, so I can either click on bar 5 or here, I'll just double click here and type in 5 and it will set it to bar 5. So if I say I'm over here somewhere, double click here, bar 5. Now to record it's dead easy. You press record. It will give you a little bit of an intro and then you play on your keyboard. So I press record and it will record straight away. If I want to give myself a little bit of a, an intro before I start recording I use this thing which is a pre-count pre or a click. And what it will do is give me a bar in. So ready? It's actually it's two bars in, not one bar. And then I start playing. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to try recording some music in using the pre-count and pressing record. So here we go. Make sure it's on bar five. And I'm also making sure it's on lead synth because I'm using the lead synth first. That's the Blair Synth lead synth and make sure that record enable is only on lead synth and not on Blair Synth because I don't want to record on both tracks at once. So then I press record. So as you can see some MIDI information has come up. You can tell it's MIDI information because there's some lines there. MIDI is a language which the computer speaks, which triggers information. As you can see here, there it is. And what that will do is every time you play that, it will trigger that sound. Now, I just want to add some accompaniment to that. So all I do is click on Blair Synth. Make sure Record Enable is on, which it is. Make sure it's got the output properly done, which is to the embracer at the moment. And I'll click on bar 5 and press record. And wait two bars and then just play along. And that's how to record. If I want to add more instruments, all I do is go up to Project Add Track. I might want to add another instrument, so I'll click on that. And this time I'm going to add something like I'm going to add something like an ethnic sound, whatever that might be. 
and I fancy a voyage to Asia. So I'm going to double click on that. And Cubase sets up voyage to Asia there. I'm going to call it travel. I have no idea what this sounds like, but I'm ready to record. So I press record. Doesn't sound very Asian to me, but then what do I know? That's how to record MIDI into Cubase.